Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at working between Photoshop and Illustrator. So taking a file from Photoshop into Illustrator and saying how we can bring it back into Photoshop to edit it if we need to do so. So I have an image here open in Photoshop. It just has a single layer, but if I add a second layer to it, I'm actually just going to remove the white from this image. So we've got something that is definitely a Photoshop file and which needs to be saved as a a Photoshop file. So let me just put a white background in here. So we've got basically the same image, but this time we've separated the white and the black. I'm going to save this as a PSD file with file save. I'm just calling it Birds for Illustrator Sharing, PSD, click save. I'm going to close the file out of Photoshop. I'm going to leave Photoshop open though. So let's swing across to Illustrator. I'm going to create a new file, I'm just making one that's a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. I'm going to bring in my Photoshop file. I'm going to do that by choosing File and then Place. I'll select my Photoshop file. I'm going to make sure it is a linked file. I'll click Place. I'm just going to drag to place it inside this document. Now this is a placed Photoshop file in the last panel. You'll be able to see here that this is the Photoshop file. Now, if we want to go ahead and trace this file with image trace, we're going to lose this Photoshop link. So if you don't want to lose that, you would need to duplicate this. So I'm actually going to make a copy of this. I'm just dragging it onto the plus sign here. This is the one here that I'm going to image trace. So I would just select it and go straight up to image trace and go ahead and image trace it. Let's just go with the default here. I'm just going to expand it and you can see that exactly what I said was going to happen did happen and we've now got a group of objects that is what our linked file just got converted into. So just be aware of that as you're going to sacrifice your PSD file if you actually image trace the one that you bought in. But if you bring in a copy, that's just fine because down here is the Photoshop file. It's still linked. And when it's linked, you'll see up here that there's an option for edit in Photoshop. Let's go and do that. Let's go back to Photoshop with this file and make some changes to it. Well, here we are in Photoshop. Here it is here in Photoshop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove one of the birds. So I'm just going to my eraser here. Let's make it super big and let's get rid of one of these birds. Now, when you've finished in Photoshop, what you're going to do is just close your file. So I'm just going to click here on the close button. It says, do you want to save it? Yes, thank you. I do want to save it. Let's go back to Illustrator. And here in Illustrator, I'm told that some files are missing or modified. In actual fact, this is a modification. Would I like to update them now? I'm going to say yes. And so the Photoshop file that is linked inside this file is now updated and of course it now reflects the fact that I removed one of those birds. You will need to be aware that this is a linked file so the location of the original Photoshop file on disk is going to be crucial that you don't change it because if you do change it then Illustrator won't be able to find it because Illustrator is just making a note as to where that file was not actually embedding the file. That's something completely different. Let me have a look here. When I click on this and go to Window and then Links you'll see that this is actually a linked file. It's not embedded. So that's really crucial to understand. Also, this is your original Photoshop file. So if you go and make changes to it like I did and remove one of the birds, well, the bird is removed permanently from the original Photoshop file. So just be careful that you understand what you're doing so that you don't, for example, remove a bird from a file and discover later on that you really wanted it still to be there. In this case, I would make a duplicate of my original Photoshop document so that I can link to it in this file, make changes to it if I need to. But I'm not destroying the super original of my file. I'm just destroying the copy of it. And in actual fact, that's what I did here is I made a duplicate of this image because I don't want to lose my other bird. But I do want to show you that this is the way that linked images can work inside Illustrator files. So you can link a Photoshop file inside Illustrator and you can image trace it. Just be aware, of course, that the image tracing process is going to sacrifice that linked file. Not the version on disk, just the one inside the Illustrator file. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content.
I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.